What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, you and I will be creating a cartoon illustration of Smurf Cat. Let's begin today's lesson in the standard page with the top edge of the nose. We're gonna start over on the left side. Let's bend this up in the middle and then back down on the right. Now from the ends, we're just gonna bend the nose coming down and in towards the center point. Now from the outside of the nose, we wanna curve up towards the top of the eyes and then back down towards the outside. So let's start with the left. We're gonna go straight up round up the eye, and then pull that down towards the side. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. I want to go up towards the same height, and then bend that down. Let's curve the bottom of the eye. Starting from the outside, I want to create a point. So we're going to come down, and then pull that up towards the side of the nose, and we'll line this up on the right. Coming down, and we'll bend that up. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So we'll start with the left, going all the way around, and then back out, and we'll line that up on the right side. Now I'm going to switch to a thicker black marker and fill the inside of the eyes going around that highlight. Now we're going to work our way around the bottom of the muzzle. From the center of the nose, draw a straight line coming down. Now let's curve the left side. We're going to come down and just bend that up to right about there. Go back to the center, come down and then up towards the right. Now we're going to tuck the chin in underneath. Let's start on the left, bend this down in the middle, and then back up towards the right. Now I'm also going to add a fold underneath the eyes. Let's start on the left, come down and then out. Same thing on the right. Let's move to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside corner of the eye, let's step down, curve the cheek, coming around, come down, and just pull that in towards the side of the chin. Let's go to the right, coming all the way around, down, and then in. Let's bend the side of the head, going out around the eye, and then up towards the edge of the hat. Now I'm going to close off the top with a curve. I'm going to go up in the middle and then bend that down. Let's add a few whisker spots on either side. Starting from the top with two dots. Do the same thing on the right. Come down in the middle and add one more. Now I'm going to wrap the bottom edge of the mushroom in behind the head. So let's start on top of the cheek. We're going to draw an oval. We're going to go out, come around in towards the middle. Go all the way across towards the right, and then we're just going to bend that back in towards the side. And then we'll work our way around the outside of the mushroom. Let's start from the side. We're going to bend this out, go up, and then in. Now we're going to bend this back up towards the top of the hat, and in, and then up. And then we'll close off the top with a curve, almost like a half circle. Going up in the middle, and then bring that back down. Let's add some texture across the bottom of the mushroom. I'm going to start right in the middle with a straight line. And I'm going to continue adding these lines going out, aiming towards the center of the nose. So we're going to step out, coming down and in an angle. Work our way out towards the side. And let's do the same thing on the right. Again, just aiming towards the center of the nose. Let's go out to the side and add a couple more. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We're going to start on the left side, just underneath the chin, bend the body going out and then down towards the hip, go to the right and do the same thing. And I want to close off the bottom with a curve. Let's add a fold around the hip. From the corner, we're going to step up, bend this around and then in. Now I'm going to move to the center, step down and add a curve for a fold, going up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg, going out and then down towards the left heel, 
go to the right, go out, and down towards the right heel. And then we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left side, bend the foot, coming down and then up. Now we're gonna round out the top of the foot. We're gonna go up, come in, and then bend that down, aiming towards the heel, and leave a gap on the inside. And then we're gonna go back up underneath the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left side, bend this out, and then down on top of the feet. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw on the arms. We're gonna start halfway between the head and the hip, right up here, bend the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist, and it up on the right side. Now we want to give our character some large hands. So from the wrist, we're gonna draw a half circle, coming in and then out for the thumb, close off the end with a bracket. And then we're gonna curl three fingers around on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, come down and up around that bracket, step down, go out and then up. And then the third finger, we go all the way around and then in towards the outside of the wrist. Now you wanna close off the outside of the arm. So from the wrist, we're gonna bend the arm going up and bend that in underneath the head. Let's add that strap going across the body. We're gonna start underneath the chin on the right, bend this down, and then across just up above the hip. Step down and draw that again. Let's add that pack in behind the body on the right side. We're gonna start from the top of the arm, bend this out, and then down. Come down in behind the arm, in between the arm and body. Now from the top corner, draw a straight angle line going up, now from here, it's gonna bend this around and in, around at the bottom like a raindrop, pull that up towards the top. Let's draw the bottom of the stick with that same angle of line, and then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Smurf Cat. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I wanna thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. We've got some exciting news to share with all of you. We're offering a variety of incredible options to level up your art skills. Join our exclusive masterclass memberships for just $1 a month, or catch more free tutorials on our Excel Sketch channel every week. Don't miss out on any of these amazing opportunities, so subscribe or join today.